am back with another video, another haul. This time it's um, Costco and Trader Joe's. I know I just did a Trader Joe's haul here, but that was actually a little bit of late posting a few days. I do go to Trader Joe's once a week to get my basic um, supplies, and I tend to get the same things over there. But I get those specifically over at Trader Joe's and then Costco. I have, I'm fortunate enough to have about five Trader Joe's surrounding uh, my city so I go to different ones and then I have uh, two Costco's as well so that's why these are my um my two go-to uh, grocery stores and then before this yesterday I did go to the commissary commissaries I buy my raw meat so I bought about a hundred and sixty eight dollars worth of just nothing but meat and nothing even just um, pantry just just the meat so i get my all my steaks my ground beef um, my chicken there ground beef i usually get the pack over at costco the organic but this time i got a few ground beef over at trader joe's so let's just go ahead and start off with um costco they have their basic necessities on sale this is the charmin's and then um this one i i don't know how many um, dollars off this one was four dollars off so it's only ten dollars for that big jug and then also coffee i still had a little bit of coffee but because it's on sale i take advantage of it um last day for the sale is the 27th today is the i believe the 25th so this one um was i believe 37 dollars compared to 42 all right and then um, I got some bananas. I always get my bananas at Costco because they're $1.99. I don't really I don't really worry about the organic and the regular ones. I worry more about um, the color because uh, oh man, see I missed out I missed that one. Because the um, Danielle will pack this for before cheer practice, it gives her energy and less cramps. Um, and then I make banana bread. But this is the guacamole that I like to use over at Trader Joe's. Um, I'm sorry, over at Costco because they're individually packed. There is, I think, 12. Yep, 12 in there. And then they last a while too. So I, what is the expiration date on this one? Is March 22. So that's good. I got a month, a month and a half kind of thing. And then they had snacks on clearance. I've never had these, but they were like $3.50, I think. This is the... It's the pretzels plus cookie butter plus vanilla drizzle. Crafted snacks, snappers, cookie butter. So I bought three of them um, because the kids are always telling me, Mom, the church, they need donations for food because my two older ones have um, church youth classes. Jonathan volunteers for it. Danielle goes to it. So when there's not enough um, family volunteers for the food, because I think there's like 70 kids, I have these. They can always bring it. And then that's a nice snack to put into a bowl for, for the kids um, at, the, um, at the church youth program. I bought three of that. And then I bought um, Honey Made. This is also good for them to pack as a, just a cracker itself. But I have a recipe that I make like the um, Girl Scout Samoan um, cookies that I also donate for the church. I use these Honey Made crackers. And then I will be showing a recipe of a lemon meringue um, cheesecake that I'll be using this the natural nubs for java it was on sale and this one was also on sale this one was five dollars which is a very delicious um uh, popcornopolis um this is um before they just used to have this over at universal Studios, so now they have it everywhere and then um this one was also on clearance this was on the frozen aisle and it was five bucks so hubby wanted to try it out i got some kids over so we'll have that for a dessert i've got eggs because i've been cooking a lot of eggs for breakfast and also boiling it for a snack and also i need it for that cheesecake and some lettuce because for the also for the youth i'm going to make um is it the Dorito salad? So I'm just gonna chop up some lettuce and then some Doritos. I have some in the pantry, ground beef and taco seasoning. They're good to go with, um, what is that seasoning? The uh, Catalina, is it Catalina salad dressing? So got that. And then Danica and the kids are out of their vitamins. This was also on sale, $8 for the two pack. And they're like 160, so they last a while. Got that one for the kids and two packs of the bread is five dollars over at costco 
perfect for grilled cheese sandwiches for the kids as well. And then I already put it away because I had dinner before I showed you guys this. So, um, And I also wanted to show you guys how I do the salmon over at um, Costco. So this is actually going to go into the freezer downstairs or up here if it has room. I cut it, I think I cut it into six pieces and it's already marinated. I have an individual um, sandwich bags in there, but there's... And then it's just going to go into the freezer just like that so that I'm not searching all over the place for them. I know that this container has the salmon in there because my four-year-old, she's so picky. And um, I know that if I cook this, she'll just have it over steam rice. And then that's going to be a meal for her. And then I just um, seasoned it with pepper, garlic powder, um, a little bit of salt, not too much. And then I do the lime, chili lime season blend from Trader Joe's. I put this into everything. It just adds so much flavor, adds a lot of flavor onto that salmon. So that's the reason I got that. Oh, and then from Costco, so. Costco that I buy, I always buy a two pack. So this one, I think it's just cheese. Oh no, this is the, this one is the meat lover. So you can actually get meat lovers over at Costco. This one is cheese. And as you guys can see, um, I've had three of um, two of Danny's friends over. They had pizza plus Jonathan plus hubby. Danica doesn't eat pizza. I don't eat pizza. And then Danielle just came home. So what I'm going to do is put those into um, the leftover into a Ziploc bag. And it's going to go into the freezer. So when they're hungry after school, then they can easily just take it out. Um, and then just put it into the microwave. And then they got themselves an after school Trader snack. Trader Joe's now. I got these snack peas. I, as you guys can see, I don't have a lot of... Uh, a lot of veggies. I still have tomatoes from my last Trader Joe's haul. I still have the salad mix because it was just a few days ago actually. But today is my Sunday so I go back to work tomorrow. I won't be able to go back to the grocery store for another um, another five, six days. So I really wanted to make sure I stock up as far as the kids being able to have something for their school snacks and then um, for meals for, for themselves. I have four kids. And also my veggies, I don't like to stock up on veggies because it goes bad, especially if I don't have time to cook. Like I said, tonight is my Sunday night. I won't be able to cook dinner for a few days. Um, so I just get the things that we're gonna um, be able to consume. This one, I like this as just a snack by itself. I'll rinse it, the kids will pack it, have it as a snack. Also the bananas, they'll be ready in a few days. And then I got one of each of our go-to mac and cheese so this is the one that has hatch chili plain and then hubby likes the one with the um pepperoni pizza got that one and then they had this as a sample it was really good pulled pork and smoky barbecue sauce so this is really it was really good um the sample so she just had it with a little bit of like i think sourdough bread definitely can make a pulled pork sandwich out of this one Got two of these linguini, or one linguini, I actually didn't even take a look, but they were all the same, capellini, but um, I got one linguini, one capellini. I got lemons for my cheesecake. I like to use the uh, fresh lemon juice rather than the imitation lemon juice. I got um, organic refried uh, pinto beans to, for a side when we make like enchilada with corn. And then I got the organic ketchup. Always gotta have juice. Um, always pineapple juice and then um, try to kind of um, spice it up <laughs> with another kind but hubby picked up organic orange strawberry banana juice and then I like these um, these are just one gram of um, carbs I believe it's just one is it one yep one gram or half so basically two grams of carbs for this one and I use this for like if I make a tuna sandwich instead of the bread because I'm, I'm not consuming too much bread because I'm using my, my carbs intake for my white rice because I'm Filipino and I need rice. <laughs> so I actually um, cook one of these um, just over um, coconut oil and then I had um, a cup of rice with it and then soy sauce and tomatoes and, and I'm good with that. That's my carb intake. So I save it for that when I really have to have that feeling of carbs. So when I make the tuna fish sandwich, I tend to have this and then I'll just kind of wrap it with the tuna fish. I'm good to go with that. That's also just a good snack overall. And Japanese fried rice are two go-to meals. Mandarin orange chicken is always good. 
this one always good i just i buy one or two package and then we're out of our soda streamer um canister we went to target they didn't have any so we um, we bought some of this um 99 cents flavored soda i call it soda water the mineral sparkling water so we got winter sangria cranberry clementine and lime um the family likes that i don't i'll have just my water and lemon and cucumber and and stuff but sometimes i'll have some of that as well and then so You'd think that we got this for the four-year-old, but Danica doesn't really care for this. You know who loves this is our 10-year-old and our 16-year-old to pack for lunch. Organic apple strawberry, fruit sauce, crushers. All right, and then Hubby picked this up as his um, new item. So I told Hubby, Hubby, we got to show them a new item. There's always a new item when I make my videos. So this is a new item for us. And then this one. So he bought Swell Vanilla Bean. It's kind of melting a little bit. Um, low sugar vanilla bean ice cream because he had to have this one. This one was $3.99. Um, Trader Joe's deep dish chocolate chip cookie. So he wanted to cook this up and he said, you can't have this without ice cream. So then he bought that. I got this one for my lemon um, cheesecake. It's the lemon curd. I might make my own because I think I have enough lemons. But just in case I, I didn't have time to make my own lemon curd because it's always best to make your own. The Trader Joe's one is always a, a good lemon curd to, um, to have um, if you don't have time to make your fresh lemon curd. Okay, I think that's it, right? That's, I showed you guys everything here. Oh, and then my Trader Joe's opened up a new Trader Joe's location across the street. So they were giving out a free uh, recyclable bag. And I just realized they had Washington. It's Anchors in Washington because I'm in the state of Washington. It's just the evergreen state. Isn't that cool? Nice. So yeah, so I wanted to share that. I was actually looking at it for that pause. All right, friends, that's it. That's what I have. I know, not healthy, not anything, but guess what? I'm just, I'm here surviving with all these kids, with all the activities and me now working full time. I'm just, you know, we do what we have to do. And Trader Joe's meals like this, it really saves us time um time and and a lot of um headaches as far as um meals for the kids and like i said we grill all the time i just grilled veggies i can probably put that little insert in there i did use those veggies that i um i did at my last trader joe's haul i'll definitely i know i filmed it i just didn't know how to put it because i don't really do vlogs anymore i'll insert that in there of how i um grill up my veggies and then i divide it and then i also freeze those so that when i'm able to um um to make something it doesn't go bad so i like to freeze um um grilled chicken that i've already grilled and then also some of the veggies as well so um on a time crunch i do have those as always friends thank you for stopping by mahalo aloha friends so here we are grilling some of my um my veggie my veggies that i showed you guys on that trader um joe's haul so i just have zucchini the bell peppers the red onions and I put my um, my artichoke in there just because I opened it up a few days ago, and I I really wanted to go ahead and um and use that up, and it'll just add some more flavor in there. We're gonna go ahead and grill this. We've already grilled our meat, which was the chicken and the steak. Um, I'm gonna open up a can of black beans and then also um, grill up some frozen corn that I also showed you guys, I believe, on the haul. Um, just grill that up really quick and then some uh, steam rice hot fresh rice and season that with just some lime um, lime seasoning and i do believe i have some cilantro season that and we can make our own um, bowl our own like a uh, veggie chicken bowl or veggie uh, steak bowl so that's what we're gonna do right now